Hi and welcome to another episode of Fishing Western Australia. Today we're with Coral Bay Ocean Game Fishing Charters and it's going to be awesome. That's right, let's have a look at what's coming up. On today's show you'll witness one of the best days game fishing we've ever had. With huge mackerel. No, we'll just get rid of that. Monster sailfish. That is an awesome fish. And one enormous marlin. Coral Bay is fast becoming a mecca for game fishing. Part of the reason is the ideal habitat for billfish created by the Ningaloo Reef and the deep waters surrounding it. Bernie Vale from Coral Bay Ocean Game Fishing Charters is one of the leading billfish operators in the whole of the Indian Ocean and every year we make the pilgrimage to his hometown. Well, the swell's up about four metres today but it doesn't matter Marshy because sailfish they like a bit of chop. They do. And I reckon, doesn't matter what you put out, the selfish love the rough weather, so don't ever think you can't go fishing. And up here in Coral Bay, I've been told that's the colour, the olive green pattern. If this works, I'll give you a look because this lure is something special, but we're going to get them out the back and start trolling around. We target sailfish by trolling the skirted lures at around seven knots behind the boat. Aside from the four lures in our spread, we also use teasers which emulate a school of baitfish on the surface. Trolling is normally 90% waiting around and 10% action, but on this morning we had a solid strike only 10 minutes after heading past the Mingaloo and everybody sprung into action. Now we're going to sailfish obviously, but Marcia, these pushers will work for almost anything, won't they? Well, I reckon, I'll tell you what, as soon as it jumps out of the water. It came out of the water? Yeah, it just comes straight across. It's always the way, I was cleaning my sunglasses in the toilet of all places. <laughs> <laughs> just go get some lunch, go to the toilet, fish are bound to come up. We've had 15 different fish species called at the moment. <laughs> Whoa! Obviously a mackerel now we've seen it. We call it for mackerel, tuna, mangrove jack, barramundi. <laughs> We're sure it's a mackerel now. Could be a whiting. A whiting, yeah, it could be a whiting. whiting. Large tooth banded whiting. Here we go, I'm walking backwards. Always walk backwards so the decky has a good chance to get the fish on board. Leaders up, back my drag off, and on cup. That's just, not just a mackerel. That is ginormous. How's that, Marshy? Do you want to come play with these two? Uh, nope. Whoa. Whoa. You can pick him up, you're right? Yeah, got him. Have a look at this. All right, Michael. <laughs> Whoa, he's. No, we'll just get rid of that. We'll just him, send him over there. Whoa, fingers and toes away from the nose. That's what Marshy always says. I tell you what, we almost lost our techie. Uh, nice hey Bernie. How lucky was Scotty, eh? This is definitely not the way you should handle an angry mackerel. On we pressed to the sailfish grounds and I soon had a big fish sniffing around my lure. Got my sunglasses on the spot at the back. I can feel him coming up and taking the back, the skirt of my lure. There he is again. And we're going quite quick in a big swell, so I can he's, see on, him. He's, he's on, on your it. Steve. He's on he's me. On it, I can't drop back on him. Sailfish are very hard fish to hook for this reason. It's hard to get inside the mouth. Oh, we got a good connection now. I'm on! I'm on! Yep, I got him! Yep, I'm up. Oh, it's a good fish too. Now see there, it's all about patience. He hasn't come up yet, and if, oh, if, they, don't, if they don't jump normally, it means they might come off. But I feel like it's a good connection, this one, yeah. It's actually got some good weight too. This is about the most stubborn, deep diving sailfish I've had on for a long time. And this swell is not helping. Look at that. I reckon he might be caught around a fin. I reckon I've actually got him sideways here. Not far away. He's not. He actually can't take any more line either. Here it comes, this is the moment. This is the moment I love when you get a good look at him. Will you want to bring him on? Bring him on board? 
Yep, over here. Yeah, here he is in the water. That's a marlin. Nice. That's, <laughs> Good right. That's about the size of a good marlin. No, that's a beauty. Backwards now. It's a beauty. Okay. Yay. Great work, Scotty. Woohoo! <laughs> what a beauty! That is one of the biggest sailfish I have ever seen. That's Rolly Shoal size. Right here in Coral Bay with Bernie. <laughs> Do you want to hold that sail up, Bernie? That is an awesome fish, and that's why we come here to Coral Bay. <laughs> well, we won't keep him out the water now. We'll pop him back in. Yeah. His tail's starting to kick a lot more. As soon as he starts to push you, mate, just let him. See how he's lining up in the sail? Scotty had only just sail. started with Bernie a week ago, yeah. and this was his first ever sailfish. He was shaking about as much as I was, but he still had to revive the fish by running aerated water over its gills. Now, what I used was a new lure from the people that make this chum line, Captain Gordon. It's a normal looking pusher. It's got hooks in the back, skirt, cup face, but there's a little hole in the cup. And what we do is we stick our nozzle in there and we give it a squirt and it fills it up with your normal old chum line. And we had four pushers out there, and guess what? It hit the chum line pusher. Don't know if that says anything, uh, but I tell you what, I'm gonna put it out again. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Don't go away, because next we chase the amazing Red Emperor and another rare catch. Seen anything like that before. Eighty metres underneath the boat right now is Red Emperor, so I'm going to get down there now. You're pretty confident in Bernie's ability to find these Red Emperor, and with good reason because there are so many here, and he's got some great spots. Now we've come up with our little super bottom rig again. I've got a dropper with a white jig, and on the back of that, that's a saltwater assassin rubber tail. And on the other end, I've got my heavier sinker, which is just a normal old tiny white jig. Now that is all the weight I need to get down there. I'm going to put a bit of bait on to start with, and you watch these white jigs catch some fish. Oh, mushy. We've got to take her here. I can't even get it thinking more. Oh. I'd lost all my bait, but the beauty of these jigs is, look at that rod go. The beauty of these jigs, we didn't like that. <laughs> this, um, if you lose your bait, you can just sit there and jig them like lures. It's 80 metres down, you don't want to be checking your bait too often, do you, Marsh? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. It's like a red, doesn't it? Yeah. Red Emperor. Red Emperor. Beauty. Have a look at that for a colour of a fish. And see how he uh, grabbed that big white jig? There was no bait on it, and he just hit it, and it's got him in the top of the schnoz. But what a fish. A Magnificent. Snot. Now have a look at that. Aren't they just the most magnificent fish? And there's so many red emperor here in Coral Bay. They actually release really well too. So we're going to pop him back. See you, mate. He's off. Oh, go on, Steve. Oh, this has got some weight. You sure it's not the bottom? <laughs> nah. Oh, no. Bottom doesn't move like that. Ah. Oh, yeah. Good weight in this one. My two. Uh, let's not say that. <laughs> I'm still going down. Uh, I'm coming up. It'd be like elevator action. Going Ooh. down, third floor, <laughs> red emperor. Second floor, sweet lip. <laughs> Ground floor, sharks. Now the reason why we're bottom fishing here in Coral Bay, it's the middle of the day now, so all the pelagic fish have gone down deep. So Bernie says, let's do a bit of bottom fishing for some red emperor. And I think that's what Steve's got there. Oh, let's hope so. Oh, look at that big sweet lip. Nice one. I've got you too, have I? Everybody lift at the same time. Nice one, eh? Look at the size of him. Look at that teeth. They're not really a hunter, but they will have a go. And he's gone so white now, I'm gonna pop him back 
into the water, just gently. All right, fella. See ya. Whoa, he's all right. Oh, yep. Oh, that's a good one, mate. That's a good one. That's a red. Get him off the bottom. Oh, 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 that's got some power, eh? I'm not wrong. But, but, but not stand too close to the edges, I mean. Oh, we're fishing you out next. Oh, oh. See a bit of colour. What it is. And it's a oh it's a gold band. Beautiful. There you go. On the white jig too. I'll give you a look at him. Oh, have a look at this. Please look at the colours in there. Wow, I have never ever seen anything like that before. No, me neither. They're a type of job fish, of course, and on this one little spot, red emperor, huge sweet lip. Gold band, what more could you want? Well, Marlon, let's go. Stick around because next we hook the fish of our lives. Keep winding, keep winding, keep winding. With a great sailfish and a mackerel under our belts, we needed to find that big Marlin that we came for. As the afternoon wore on, the seas flattened out and we tried not to think too much about it. Then, as I was halfway through a good article in my magazine, the port outrigger clip pulled and line disappeared into the cobalt blue water. I hit him, I hit him, and he's still going. Still going. Getting spooled! Back down! Cut that line. Get the teaser and cut that. Yeah, we are. Get the lure. Okay, get the lure. That's it. Nah. Well, wait, wait. Yeah, I've still got him. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. Right. Good. I reckon this could be a yellow fin. Probably. He's gone deep, hasn't he? I was just sitting there reading my so IGFA <laughs> line class record book on the <laughs> carpet, and the alarm clock went off. Oh, man, this has gone down, down, down. He's going again. Just a little. It's your call, Skip, what we should do. I've got about 100 left. Mate, we're going to have to try and get some back, I think. Oh, it's a marlin. Stop, Bernie, stop. It's a good fish, mate. It's a good fish. Take your time. Come on, wind, 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 wind. Keep winding. Come on, mate. Keep winding, keep winding. Keep winding. Keep winding. Keep winding. Keep winding. Still got him. Still got him. I had a feeling, you know. I had a feeling. It's not a catfish, then. There he is. Oh! Superb! Camera. Beautiful. Woo! Yep. Don't lose it. Don't lose oh, shut it. Shut up! That's what he would say to me. He's just going for a bit of a upsurge there. Now what we're going to do, he's coming alongside the boat, so we're going to try and get some line back by inching around the starboard side. We really weren't expecting a marlin this big, so we're completely underpowered. Because me and Marshy wanted to use our own gear, didn't we, eh? <laughs> yeah. Didn't sound like such a good idea now, does it? Not really. <laughs> Not too fast, not too fast. He is, he is right there. If he comes up again. I'm gonna get a great picture of him if he comes up there, mate. I'll tell you now. What's he doing? Hi. What's he doing? Now, Steve and I have got a bit of a thing here. We always tag each other's fish, and there's nothing better than doing it for your mate. I got colour! Go up again. That must have tied him out, and it certainly did me. Now, you see, everybody's working together now. There's nobody that's any special. We've all got our own jobs to do, and we're just making sure that he's as comfortable as he can. So when his tag goes in, that's it. It's a capture. 
feels quite comfortable. It's the toughest spot of my life, this for sure. <laughs> this marlin isn't small. We're on stand-up gear because we wanted to do it the hard way. Just a personal thing. Got in the chair. Bernie's got a great game chair, but we've just dreamed of catching a big black on stand-up. And we're doing okay. This is a critical time. Anything could happen. My back might snap. Probably is going to. Can we get this fantastic fish to the tag? Find out after the break. Stick face. <laughs> now we're serious. Now the fish is getting too close to the boat, so we've just got to let it go out a little bit. This is the worst time. Bernie, I'm losing a fair there, bit there. And you don't touch the rod, and your gear's all set, and you just hope that that hook doesn't come out. He's coming up! Oh, look at that. Oh, no. I can't. He's going the other way. Woohoo! I've got it on full strike. And he's still going. Okay. Now I've got the big lens on. You're doing it like a champ, mate. Just keep taking the time. You're doing superb. Superb. Oh, this is the worst bit. That's it, mate. Thank you, drag off. Not too much, Bernie. I'm just lost all the line then. Now the difference between this dentist chair and what Steve's doing is about three times the workload. What he's doing there is just standing up and he's fighting the fish. It's just him and the fish, that's it, nothing else. When you've got the chair, you're all strapped in like a dinner. And if you ever saw the first series, you saw me strapped in there. It's really uncomfortable and you fall flat on your face. Doing that, you're at one with the fish, you can feel every heartbeat. That's the 80. He's not far below. I've got colour on him. No, he's not ready yet. I'm in agony. Absolute agony. Oh, yeah, it's going to hurt. Mate, you're going to have to put a harness on All now. Right, get jacket. I can't take, take it anymore. Take his I've tried off. to be a hero. Let's get it on him. Um, How's that? Uh, better. <laughs> In, out, up, down. No, that's good. That's all right? Yeah. I feel like a new loo. Right. All right, fish. Stick face. <laughs> now we're serious. <laughs> I wondered how long it would take. 50 minutes it's taken for him to put that on. <laughs> yeah. This reel has just been superb. Can't be that far away now. No. Get him where I want him. Oh, here it is. There's my double. Okay, we nearly got later, mate. It's only about a metre off. The marlin's up. Come on, Steve, concentrate on this. This way. is critical. Over this way. We'll have to bring him the side. There he is. There he is. Woo look at that. All right. Oh my goodness me, it's got to be 200 kilos. Yeah. And look at that. Righty He's got the chum line cockroach. Okay. What a magnificent lure that is. Start walking backwards a little bit, mate. Bernie reckons he's 200 kilos easy. I've got 24 kilo line. That's almost 10 times the breaking strength of my line. That's why this is so hard. He hooked him in the bill too. Yep, it's been a perfect shot. You can see this is where your knots are so important. On the top of the rod there, you can see my bimini twist, the big lump. Then you can see my joiner to my leader, carefully tied every morning. Because you never know when the best fish of your life is going to come up, and this is the best fish of mine. Then I'm going to stick Got the, the leader. I'm going to stick the tag in there. Hang on, hang on. We'll get him up the side. Here he is. Hold your tension on there, Steve. Step back. Here we go, Marcy. Here we go. Nice. Oh, look at him. Get tag. Get tag. Yes. Woohoo! <laughs>
<laughs> Tags in! Watch out, be careful now, keep your rod up! Alright, we got the tag in. <laughs> That's it! 200 <laughs> kilo line on stand up! <laughs> Coral Bay, Ocean Game Fishing Charters! Good on ya! Tape. <laughs> well done, mate. Thank That's you. Good. Now he's still in the water, of course. <laughs> he's got my cockroach and I want it back. Well, I didn't get my lure back, my body just couldn't cope anymore and the fish busted off. We're going to cut him off anyway, but the tag's in the fish. It's a capture. Well done, mate. That's Bernie. a beautiful effort. Beautiful, effort. beautiful fish. You're going to do this. <laughs> For those of you that want lots more information after the show, remember to log on to fishingwa.com. It's our own website with over 400 pages of information to help you catch more fish right here in WA. There's advice, there's GPS coordinates, there's rigs, there's knots, there's spots, there's articles, there's movies, there's everything you need to know to catch fish in Western Australia. Remember, www.fishingwa.com. On our next show, Marshy fires up the helicopter and heads to Montgomery Reef in our far now, north. A bit of blood there, that's... We'll also hunt some flathead on lures in Fremantle. Just an awesome predator. And meet Ernie, the whiting master from Augusta. Oh my goodness! Well Marshy, Bernie's charter has to be one of the best game fishing charters in WA. Absolutely, and I'm really sorry to leave the Ningaloo Reef Resort as well, Steve. It's been magic. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Come up here to Coral Bay, you'll have as much fun as we did. We'll see you next time on Fishing Western Australia.